The EPA estimates more than 60 million people are facing forecasts considered unhealthy for sensitive groups. We will probably have some impact from this ongoing as long as the fires are burning. U.S. firefighters are helping on the front lines of Canada's worst fire season. Around 2,000 federal firefighters have been deployed in rotations since May. Good morning, 445, 66 degrees. Let's check it now with Storm Center 7 meteorologist Brittany Ritz. And at least for us here locally, Brittany, you say that this air quality situation is getting better. Yes, yes. Our AQI, or air quality index, as they were mentioning, we are in the yellow, which means we're moderate. So no longer sensitive to unhealthy groups. But it plays a role regardless. And we need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. So if it is still bothering you, please stay indoors as much as you possibly can. Hey, Xenia, good morning. You can tell a little bit of low-lying fog as the lights start to scatter. That's because of the moisture that we picked up yesterday. Some rain, not everyone got it. It was a true definition of isolation, and we're going to do the same thing again today. But over the last 24 hours, well south of 35, we picked up about a quarter of an inch of rain. Widen things out, you can see where that boundary lies. That's the original cold front, and it's where the rain will follow for today. There's that isolated opportunity with the heat of the day, but our next system that I'm watching is well up into Canada at the moment. It's going to slide right down over top of us here within the next 24 hours, increasing our rain and storm chances for your Thursday and into the evening Thursday and early Friday morning. So let's time it out for you. Starting off today, there's the patchy fog you're seeing this morning. That will lift. We'll see some sunshine through the afternoon. Again, just enough sunshine to generate an isolated thunderstorm possibility. Otherwise, once we get into the evening, we're left with partly cloudy skies. We get into your Thursday, anywhere between 2 and about 4 o'clock. That's when we have initiation with this warm front that's going to lift up over top of us. So you're starting to see the specks of green and yellow, even some orange starting to fire up, indicating some heavier rain and stronger storms. That will push through. And by the latter part of the day and into the evening hours, our rain chances will start to taper back a bit. So I'd say after about 9 o'clock, no longer dealing with the threat of stronger storms. Holding on to the moisture early on Friday again, where we picked up that rain, we wind up with some patchy fog. So keep that in mind, too. Otherwise, Friday looks pretty good. But it's Thursday that we're focused on. That's why we're highlighting in yellow a level 2 of 5, indicating that threat for a few stronger storms. According to the Storm Prediction Center, wind going to be one of our bigger threats, and I can agree with that. Also, rainfall. Talking about picking up an additional quarter to a half an inch of rain through your Thursday. So if you do come across the roadway and water, turn around, find a different route. We could be dealing with some flash flooding concerns. Otherwise, our rain chances start to taper back a bit as soon as the cold front moves through, and that will be on Friday. And we look to be smooth sailing for the weekend, which, by the way, I hear there's a really good air show going on. <laughs> so make sure that you're taking care of yourself. So it's not going to be too hot, too humid, but just don't forget the water. 81 degrees on your Saturday and Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, not too bad either, although our temperatures are starting to creep up a little bit more. Nick, Leticia? All right, Brutley, thank you. A 15-year-old is recovering this morning at home after his